Good morning and welcome back to more Pokemon Stadium 2. It is a dark and rainy day here in Portland. Perfect kind of day. Stay home, play some video games. So we are now going to go through the Gym Leader class here in Earl's Pokemon Academy. Just like I did uh, with the previous one, I'm just going to skip through all of these because, I mean, I already know all this stuff. Like, I've been playing Pokemon for 20 years. I'm good. Oh, I have to actually get to the end and press A instead of B. Uh, so I'm just gonna meet you guys at the uh, actual... It pauses every time it has to do a sound effect. Hey, yep. Uh, I'm gonna meet you guys at the actual tests for each of these. There's not as many of them in the gym leader class, thankfully. There's about half. There's only 11 instead of 20. Uh, and then we can move on to the real test. And then to the trainer battles. But here's a question. Which type of move will inflict quadruple damage on fire and rock type Pokemon? Uh, that would be water. Because it's fire and rock are both weak to water. Yay. Yay. All right, multiply damage. Here's a question. What is the lowest possible damage multiplier? Zero? Yeah, because there's some moves that are completely ineffective, like poison on steel. And electric on ground. Status problems. Here's a question. Of the following, which loses effectiveness if the Pokemon switch? A uh, confusion. The rest of them stay. That is correct. I am glad you listened. I mean, I didn't really listen. I kind of skimmed. Okay. Here's a question. How much damage will a set damage move inflict on a target that used Reflect? Uh, it doesn't change. That's why it's a set damage move. It always does the same amount. Here's a question. Which move will inflict double damage on a Pokemon using Dig? Uh, that would be Earthquake. Earthquake, Fissure, or er, Earthquake, Fissure, and Magnitude still work if you're underground. Fissure, of course, is a one-hit move, so it has its own deal, but it can still work if it's underground, but it's not a guarantee, I don't think. Uh, multi-hit moves. I realize I said multi-hit moves, it's actually multi-type moves, but here's our question. Which move is super effective against water-type Pokemon and can be learned by Typhlosion? That would be Thunder Punch. Uh, which, you know, uh, I do actually plan on teaching to my Typhlosion in the Pokemon Crystal playthrough when I can. Uh, but unfortunately, he has to be a Typhlosion in order to learn it. He cannot learn that move in any of his uh, younger forms. Which is kind of unfortunate. Here's a question. Of the following, which type has the fewest weak aspects? Uh, that would be normal. There aren't a whole lot of things. Actually, there's only one thing that's strong against normal. There are several things that resist it, but only one thing that's actually strong against it. Normal types tend to be able to learn a lot. So defensively, they're actually pretty good. All right, switching. Here's the question. Which type of move does not work against Mischievous? Normal, because it's a f ghost type. Alright, we're almost at the end here. Reading the situation. Oh boy. Here's a question. If the opponent is Blissey, which move will inflict the most damage? Uh, probably Metal Claw, because it's a physical. The rest of them are all special, and Blissey has really, really high special defense. And a lot of HP. But its regular defense is not very good. Alright, so we got new features holding an item. Here's the question. Iceberry corrects which status problem? Uh, that would be burn. The iceberry is for the burn. I think the burnt berry is for the ice. <laughs> That's correct, I'm glad you listened to my very... To my lessons. 
Not really, but okay. No, it's on eggs. Alright, the final question. If Crobat is the female parent, which Pokemon will hatch from its egg? Well, that would be a Zubat. That's correct. Alright. So that is all of the lessons. Let's go to the test. Let me test your wisdom. You must score 8 out of 10 points to pass. Here's the question. Which move is super effective against Fire-type Pokémon and can be learned by Steelix? Magnitude? Oh no, Rock Throw! Duh! If a Pokémon has a status problem, which condition can still affect it? Leaf Seed. Number three, which Pokémon belongs to the same A group as Poliwag? Ooh... I want to say Quillfish. No, it was probably Mantine. Alright. If a set Pokemon if a set damage move is used on a Pokemon that used Harden, how much damage will be inflicted? Uh it doesn't change. Which special attack move can Yanma learn? Oh boy. Um I don't actually know. I'm gonna guess Solar Beam? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Body Slam won't work against which Pokemon? Uh, Mr. Viss, because it's Ghost-type. Which of the following is Dynamic Punch's move-type? Fighting. Which Hold item is useful when using Thrash? A Bitterberry, because then you'll recover from confusion. Of the following, which type has the fewest weak aspects? Normal. That was actually one of the earlier questions. What would the damage multiplier be if Mantine is hit by an electric type move? Four, because it's water fly. Yeah, okay, so I did get eight out of 10. Kind of flubbed that first one, the other one I had no idea. Cool. All right, so all that's left are these uh, student tests. And there's only five of them this time. So I think we'll probably be able to finish gym leader class probably in two episodes. I doubt I'll be able to... It would be really long if I tried to put it all into one episode. But maybe it'll work. Maybe these will go really quickly. Uh, if you can't tell the difference between a real status problem and one that's only similar, you'll never beat me. Okay, so you're going to be doing status stuff. Got it. I have a feeling this is going to come down to more of... All of my Pokémon are girls! So lovely. Okay, so you're going to be using Attract. That's how this is going to work. So, in that case, I want to also... Oh no, I only have male. Okay, I was going to say I think I want to be using only female Pokémon, but that's not how this is going to work. And no one's using... Oh, I can use Attract! That's what it is. Okay, so I want to be grabbing all of the Pokemon that can use Attract. Got it. Okay, so we'll bring in you. We'll bring in you. And we'll bring in you. Alright. That's how this works. This is the battle between the students of Earl's Pokemon Academy. Alright, so we're going to start off with our Raichu here. Let's see what he's got. Here they come. Yeah, I had expected that he was going to be using Attract on me, not the other way around, but that's okay. okay. So we'll use Attract first. And you'll notice that each of these Pokémon not only has a track, but also has another kind of status move as well. So we can use a track to prevent them from attacking sometimes. Then I can do things like Sweet Kiss to inflict another status upon them. Yeah, so now he's attracted and confused. Uh, that Thunder Punch might be able to paralyze him as well. I'm really happy with Raichu. Like, I'm sure Hypnosis Dream Eater combo would be doing a lot more damage, but Hypnosis is really, really low accuracy. 
to be fair, so is Sweet Kiss, but... Or actually, no, I think I might be thinking of Lovely Kiss as really low accuracy. Sweet Kiss might be pretty good. I don't know, one of them is like 70 accuracy, and I think the other is 100. I don't remember which is which does which, frankly. Honestly, I thought this was the one that puts him to sleep, so... <laughs> but that's okay, because I will just Thunder Punch this guy for the victory. I do like that Thunder Punch animation. That's a really good Thunder Punch animation. Alright, what else you got? Okay, so Kangaskhan has a lot. Just a lot. Its stats are really good, actually. Just pretty much in every regard. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start with Attract. The other reason why I went with Raichu first is because he's really fast, so he was going to be able to get these attacks off really quickly. Interesting. So he's going to go for Stomp. Now, one thing I could do is I could switch to Gengar here, uh, who would have a reduced chance of... They would not be able to hit him with Ghost type or with uh, physical moves because he's a Ghost type. And by that, I mean they wouldn't be able to hit him with normal type moves. <laughs> but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Because if they have literally any other type of move, they'll be able to hit him anyway. And his attacks are much, much less consistent than Thunder Punch. Also, switching will get rid of Attract. If either of us switch, it'll get rid of his get rid of the attract. I can always just put it back on, but I would rather just wear him down this way. There are not very it's not very good odds in his favor that he'll actually be able to hit me between confusion and attract. It is a real nasty combo. And now he's paralyzed. All right, one last Thunder Punch should do the trick. Yeah, this is a really nasty build, and I like it a lot. All right, Mill Tank probably has a rollout. All right, so we'll go ahead and use Attract. because that's a 100 accuracy move and makes it a coin flip as to whether he'll actually be able to hit me or not. Alright, we'll go for Sweet Kiss, which I'm pretty sure is 70 accuracy, considering it did miss earlier. There we go. So now he's confused and attracted. He'll take as a really high defense Pokemon. And high HP. Well, actually, no, his HP isn't that much better than Raichu's, really. I thought it was a high HP Pokemon, but maybe it, that's just one of those things that always looks like it should be. That and the most common place that people associate Milk Tank is with uh, the third gym in Gen 2, which is just that Milk Tank is awful to fight. Because at that point in the game, single stagers are really, really powerful. Alright, well, I no longer have confusion, but at this point, unless he's got Earthquake, I don't think he can take me down before I take him down. Oh, uh, 1 HP. Alright, well, one more hit should do it. Yeah, so he's just gonna keep using Stomp. Again, if I had been using. Ghastly instead, they wouldn't be able to hit me with Stomp, but I have to assume they still have other types of moves that they could use. Otherwise, you could just wipe this whole team with Ghastly without having to use the Attract or anything like it. Which maybe you can. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. Either way, we win. You... you did some horrible things. 
What, just use the natural allure of my Pokemon against yours? You certainly gave me a harsh lesson in Pokemon conditions. Sniff! You have a very good grasp on the distinction between status problems and similar conditions. Sure. Come on, oh girl, Naomi. I shall lead with Murkrow, then follow with Ghost Pokemon. How will you vanquish such a diabolical team? Okay, so we already know what her team is going to be. That's interesting. I'll start with Murkrow. Okay. So, we know what her team will be. It will be Murkrow, and then that Magcargo is not going to be there. It's going to be any of the other ones. Interesting. So, we want to start with something that can take out Murkrow, and then follow up with Pokemon that can take out the rest of her team. So, let's see what we've got in terms of moves. So... Thrash will only... Thrash will work against Murkrow. Belly Drum, Rest, and Mud Slap. Mud Slap will not work against Murkrow, but it will work against the rest of her team, and I'm assuming that's something that we want to use. Belly Drum, Rest, and Mud Slap. Belly Drum, Rest, Mud Slap. And Thrash. Okay. So... Uh, Mudslap won't work against Murkrow, so we need to take in one of the other ones. So I'm going to assume that the real kicker here is going to be the item. I don't think we want to bring in Nidoking, uh, because he won't resist Dark-type moves, which is, I'm guessing, what Murkrow is going to use. Either that, or we do want to be bringing Nidoking, because Murkrow is going to have a flying move, and Nidoking will not be super affected against flying moves. Let's see, Bitterberry, Iceberry, Berry Juice. Okay, so I think we do want to bring in Primate, because it has the Bitterberry and Thrash. Thrash will make us confused, and I think that's what we're going for. So, we're going to go with that. Uh, Mint now the question becomes which of the Poly lines we're taking. And I think that answer is going to depend on... Yeah, so I think we want the Mint Berry to wake up from uh, the rest immediately. And the Miracle Berry to do the same, wake up from the rest immediately. And I think that is the combination that they are looking for here. Pokemon Academy. The students begin battle with dreams of becoming respected Pokemon. All right. Leaders. Now let's see if she holds true to her word. Yep. Okay. Murkrow it is. Level 55 Murkrow, too. Interesting. Well, we only have one option here, so we're just going to thrash. Yeah, so it's going to use its Dark-type moves, which aren't going to be very effective against Primate. And then I can use Thrash, and even after I finish using Thrash, which will confuse me, I can then just switch, or uh, I will get cured of the confusion finish it off with the rest of the thrashes I need, or it'll get a crit. Uh, it needs to not get too many of those. Because uh, if it happens to take out this primate... Yeah, there we go. Okay. If it happens to take out this primate in the next two hits, then I lose no matter what. Because I can't hit this thing with my other Pokemon. So it really needs to not do that. I don't think this fight was calibrated for crits. Alright, so it's gonna get one more faint attack. Okay, it was not a crit that time. Good. And there we go. Alright. So, she's gonna switch in. And then, hopefully, I can switch. Okay, I can switch. Cool. So, we're going to go ahead and switch to... I might as well go to Politoed. Higher evolution, just a little bit stronger. Although, I think Politoed is more of a special attacker than physical. I think even Poly... Uh, Poliwhirl 
is slightly better in physical attack than Politoed, but I don't know, I wasn't looking that hard. Frustration. Interesting. So it's using fighting moves. That's neat. Alright, so we're gonna go for Belly Drum, which will maximize my attack by reducing my HP by half. Now, what might have been better to do, because this is a little dangerous, is, uh... Because if he gets a crit here, I die anyway. What might have been better to do... Oh, okay, yeah, that was really close. Uh, was... would have been to just let, uh... Let Primate get KO'd by this Haunter. Uh, that way I wouldn't eat a hit coming in, but... I'm not that worried about it. It worked out. If this Haunter had gotten a crit at any point, then it would not have worked out. But he did not, so we're okay. Yeah. Uh, with that belly drum, even Mud Slap is doing that much damage. And as anyone who's been watching my Crystal playthrough that goes up, like, every other week, uh compared to this one. Mud Slap is not a very strong move. It's 20 base power. On Rand, it's about as strong as Tackle. In fact, it's pretty much just replaced Tackle for him. Alright, so now we got Gengar. I'm honestly just going to keep Mud Slapping. Uh, luckily, it is super effective on these guys because they're Ghost and Poison. If she'd been using Mischievous instead, it would not be super effective. But that's fine. I do love that it's just an automatic accuracy fall, though. I really wish Rock Smash would be a guaranteed defense drop. If it was, then it would actually be a far more useful move. Uh... I'm just in terms of weak moves that can do status effects. Like, this is basically just the damaging version of Sand Attack, whereas Rock Smash is basically the damaging version of, like, Tail Wag. Sorry, I always forget that I can't talk during that. I was just saying that uh, Mud Slap is, is a damage version of Sand Attack, basically, whereas, like, Rock Smash is a damage version of Tail Whip for example, except it's not a guaranteed damage, or a guaranteed defense drop. Uh, using combinations of items and moves, that's wicked. An excellent demonstration of how to use items. You showed me a splendid shutout win. Yeah, so again, if you did not get the correct combination, you wouldn't get the star, you would just get a burn mark. Which, you want all the stars if you want to get the medal. 